Hello my friends and welcome back to Music Major Vlog. So I'm sure most if not all of you have seen my marching band Vine compilations. If you haven't, check them out before you watch this video. Also, if you haven't, how'd you get here? Seriously, let me know in the comments. The clip in question today is from the second installment of Marching Band is Vines and it basically calls out people for thinking that three particular instruments belong in marching band, namely oboe, bassoon, and French horn. So why did I include this? To troll people? Yes, absolutely. I got many a comment on my first video going, where's oboe, where's the French horn, etc. And of course the internet being the internet, everybody complained in the comments of this new video about me insulting their instruments, especially French horn for some reason. First of all, you really think I'm insulting my own instrument? People took this so personally, and that was published six months ago and I'm still getting comments about it. I tried to clear this up in another video, but let me go over this again now. It was not an insult to people who play those instruments. Anybody can do marching band, they just have to play different instruments. On paper, that sounds challenging, but once you know how to play one instrument, it's pretty easy to learn how to play another, especially if they're in the same family. Besides which, with these instruments in particular, it's pretty common for it to be their second instrument. Most double reed players I know are proficient in at least one other woodwind instrument. And then don't get me started on how people keep commenting, oh, well, what about the mellophone? I did not say mellophone, I said French horn. Is it common for people to play both? Yes, but these are not the same instrument. Frankly, the only reason the mellophone exists is so French horn players can be in marching band. This begs the question though, why can't you use these instruments in marching band? Well, let's eliminate the double reeds right off the bat. For one thing, you can't even stand with the bassoon. But more importantly, these instruments tend to be really fragile compared to other woodwind instruments, and they are very sensitive to even the slightest change, bringing them outside and asking for them to get damaged. What about French horns though? What's stopping you from using them in marching band? Well, Nothing, technically. I mean, the military's been doing it for 200 years. But when it comes to core-style marching band, there are definite advantages to using mellophones. The most obvious, of course, is the bell. The French horn has a bell that points behind the player. When you're outside and the audience is in front of you, they're not gonna hear you. The mellophone, on the other hand, is a bell front instrument, which means the sound is suddenly going toward the audience. So I hear some of you asking, what about marching horns? Which, yes, is a real thing that is different from both French horn and mellophone. It's a bell front instrument, and it sounds much more like a French horn than a mellophone does, so why don't we use them? Two issues with the marching horn, aside from the fact that nobody really makes them anymore. Firstly, the sound of the mellophone better matches the sound of other brass instruments in marching band. The trumpets and marching baritones have a very brassy sound, and the timbre of a mellophone better matches that than the timbre of a French horn or marching horn. And the second reason we use mellophones is because they're just easier to learn. I don't know anyone who would call the mellophone their primary instrument, and most people that play it are either French horn players or trumpet players. Since a mellophone is basically the same thing as a trumpet, only lower, trumpet players have no problem learning mellophone very quickly. French horn, on the other hand, is a very unforgiving instrument to learn. I would know. Let's face it, there are a lot more trumpet players in this world than French horn players, especially in high school settings. If you're a band director and you need more of the alto voice, you don't have time to teach your trumpet players how to play French horn. You are going to give them a mellophone. So it sounds like the mellophone is the most brilliant idea for an instrument ever and is the solution to all your brass section problems. Well, hold on a second there, cowboy, because I am not about to let the mellophone off the hook entirely. If mellophones are so great, why do we still use French horns? Simply put, the French horn is just a better instrument. The sound is richer and fuller, and most music outside of a marching band setting is written for that kind of sound. Quite frankly, the mellophone is kind of a fake instrument, unless you're Santa Clara Vanguard. It's really just a trumpet that thinks it's a French horn. Katie from the future here, I just want to clarify something because I don't think I made myself super clear when I first recorded this. This is not a criticism of people who play the mellophone. There are lots of amazing, talented, spectacular mellophone players out there. And I've marched with a lot of them personally. This is merely a criticism of the instrument itself. 
and its shortcomings. Most small phone players probably know what I'm talking about. And now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Puppets play in a range where a brassy, dry sound is good because it cuts through the rest of the ensemble. It's the soprano voice, which is what you want to hear the most of. French horn plays in a lower range, the alto range, which because it's lower, it's supposed to sound fuller. Mellophone is basically alto trumpet, so you're not getting the tone that you're supposed to be getting in that range. Sure, it's fine outdoors because you need something brassy to cut through so you can hear it in that open air setting. But when you're in an indoor ensemble where everything echoes off the walls, suddenly you're amplifying that sound of the incorrect tone in the incorrect range. And I've seen mellophones in concert bands before and it ticks me off because people don't understand what makes a French horn sound like a French horn. It's just hard to make a mellophone sound good. The tone is ugly, especially when you compare it to a French horn. For example, think of some of your favorite movie themes that are played on French horn. Let's say the Force theme from Star Wars, which I'm not gonna play because I have too many videos on this channel that are already flagged by the copyright police. Imagine what that same line would sound like being played on mellophone. It just doesn't sound right anymore. It doesn't sound pretty. The French horn has evolved to be one of the most beautiful sounding instruments. So playing parts specifically written for French horn on a cheap wannabe knockoff decreases the value of the music significantly. So does the French horn belong in marching band? Probably not. The mellophone is the far superior option in that circumstance. But as far as it's worth as an instrument, mellophone isn't really good for much else. Thank you guys so much for watching, and what do you think? Do French horns belong in marching band? Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Preferably without a band geek flame war. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more from me. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you real soon.